Yeah, but it's so soft. Oh, yeah. Alright, uh, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3, part 2, episode 2. Uh, I don't know what it's gonna be called, but... We are Haytham Kenway. Controls! Oh, you! That is much better! So, it's been a while since I played. So long, uh, so that I haven't even posted the first episode when this comes out. But, you know, that's... Oh, gnarly, dude. And everybody Cheating no good, son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, oh no! Foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? You're oh, terrifying. You require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Yeah. <laughs> Do you require anything further? Only privacy. It's kind of rude. Oh, well, of course. My apologies, good sir. Do -do -do -do. Wait, look. When he goes down this, when he goes up the stairs, he's like, do 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 do. Shoulders. This is slow and quiet. Sir, William Johnson. My, you have a mighty Please. forehead. So, for some time. might even call it a forehead. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land. Of the More like a crusade. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Darn. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Ugh. Then we'll find it. Kill him. I mean, find it. My of associate, course. Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening in tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. I'd do anything for you, Mr. Kenway. Oh, Mr. Kenway, do you need some assistance? This isn't the inn. Pretty. <laughs> yeah. Oi. Oi. How you doing? Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Well, show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite <laughs> your search. Don't need no expediting. Don't Thanks. need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those barleys. I have an idea. Well, let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout. Take up a position behind the guard. Now you two approach from front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. Oh, the that's the best plan outside. I've ever had. Half or four before they've even realized what's happened. Get into position. But wait for me to take the first shot. That's okay. It's been a while, so.
place. Fall back! Fall back! We'll be safe inside! <coughs> Stellar. What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. You don't have none. I won't ask again. Agreed. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. <laughs> Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. Them. This one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. Mm. Thank you. Then. I need a drink. So parched. My gun requires ammo because it is parched. That is that is a sentence. <laughs> Get up, come on. Why am I so bad at this today? is you need. The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Tanya and Gahaga in order to... Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. This doesn't Thomas. sound like any kind of accent. Well, rent yourself a room. <clears throat> and a bath as well. 
I suspect we'll be here for a while. Yep. Yeah, you will. Long, long time. Evening, gentlemen. <laughs> Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow in you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Taddy needs a drink! How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they need. <sighs> oh. I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Church will. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Let's go find some guy. How do... Charles, I swear I'm teleporting. Hello? Charles? Sir? Like we're not the I mean, only ones looking Hayden. for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Show you how. Should we write a scam, would you think? Not our business to meddle, even if we've the best of intentions. But if you could have seen it, they were sure to try and carry on like that, and during the day, no less. The French commander, De Jumonville, has been killed in a clash of royal and French forces in the Ohio country. I was about to say, like, it won't let me. From one who aims to be a surgeon. Oh, wow. Not likely if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him, or he damages his reputation beyond repair. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. Nice. He's versed in the forms of Obi Wan. Top of a church. So. be balanced like that learn to take a listen with luck one of those people knows what became of benjamin and dead all right cool i'm off to try it but it'll plead ignorance look at that they're lying aye well what can i do stress light off them and i'll not stay in your problem actions speak louder than words my friend Arrest one and put him in stocks. See me so glib then. Do so without cause. We'll set them singing songs about us. Last thing the sick needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. And forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. Oh, what do you think they're planning? All I know is it can't be good. 
probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat. <laughs> Good call, Pat. I asked if I could help, and they waved me away. Insisted it was all under control. How odd. Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though. So I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the... Are they good? He guys okay? See, Charles? We'll have church in no time. Just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you're raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. This is well guarded. We need to slip past them. Bye. Time to carry on. the key. Here we are then. That was easy. I, uh, you know, just killed everybody. Literally everybody. It's okay. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. Oh. How very gutch. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe I take his hands, put an end to his surgery. Maybe I take his tongue, put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I take his cock. Putting into his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. Now, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas. I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my no. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. <sighs> I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <gasps> Oi! Over here, you bastards! Come on! Oi. Who Who are you? Hatham Kenway, at your service. I don't understand. Well, why are you here? Walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. <laughs> Go 
Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the king's troop, in charge of the South Gate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think of it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How'd you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho oh, oh, ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Pay them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? Well, they'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come along. Did he say what that his name is Kenway? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Oh. Uh -huh. I get it. That's stupid. Like, of. Like. Oh no! Now! Look at the tiny. Look, like they're tiny little humans. They don't look right. Scoundrels, one and all! Boy on you and your false war! <laughs> After him! <laughs> Unhand him, Edward. Ah, uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitt can with us. I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. now, John. Traitor! Go on, then! Join them on their fool's errand! 
And when you find yourself, I assume through. you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. 